Far Can you come and help? Limit. Yes, sure. <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> Border gore. That's Border. also two words. Wow, nice. small country got a huge advantage in the beginning, but really turned it around. Wow. All right. <laughs> it's it's time right now. <laughs> Let's burn people to the ground. No, no, what? Now the battle is here in the far south? What's going on? Now it's here <laughs> no. in the north? <laughs> I'm so confused. The half men will stand tall. Well, uh. I don't know about that. We'll have to wait and see for this. Yeah, this situation You have an armor of 100,000, 110, 20, 34,000 men. But to make it even... Well, actually, Bloent has pretty much the same run. So it's pretty much one-to-one -one in the west. Yikes. Might be a slight advantage in no numbers for Laurent, depending on AI allies. But you have the better quality. At least small country. We have Verstek that, uh, <laughs> well, step up the game, please. Your troops are lacking morale. Well, actually, you kind of fixed it now. Both of you have 4.9-ish. Now Laurent has a morale advantage. Discipline-wise, well, discipline. But we have to remember that probably small country and Neon TD both have the Cornet Crusader shock damage increased by 30%, while Little Kai's Johan does not. Well, wait, wait, he does? What? Did he switch religion? He did. <gasps> he did. What, when, when did that happen? I don't know. But, but he did. Yeah, his entire nation is missing religion. Fine. So that was why I picked humanist to be able to counteract that. And what are you doing? Uh. <laughs> like at least show it on stream then, so oh I don't look God. insane shouting about stuff that doesn't exist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's happening here? I'm I don't so know. confused. I don't know. Of course, Richard. Yeah, I know. I know, Kaiser. But I didn't actually see that you did it. Ah. Oh. That needs large announcements. So, how's it going right now? Wait, is that a peace deal? Only minus 5%. We said player wars need to be won with 50%. So, so, not anywhere close now. They have to really, really expand. And small country gets overrun by Laurent. I'm kind of... Yeah. Well... Oh, they're actually getting overrun from both so sides horrible. right now. The big question is, they have very similar army sizes, but I guess it's just the amount of AIs that the Northern Faction have that makes it a bit more difficult difficult to coordinate yeah, rather than sense. three large players. There are two players, and the third large player, well, it's right now an AI. And here we go, we have an, an engagement from Isalor and the, the Northern Allies, but Isalor have to, well, well, they got back. <laughs> Hello. Language. <laughs> they got, How they, are you? They had to start packing and go home because they were wiped out right there. Not stack wiped, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, fortunately for him, but unfortunate for us because stack wipes is so much more fun. Yes. Like, I still Not have to time. train a bit more in EO4 talking because I, I don't have to whip with the remarks right now that Jake has when oh he yeah. was commentating. One day. One day. But are we going to see a large engagement right here going in for the Versa capital? Or are they going to let it fall? No, we have a larger engagement right now. They're going in. Nice. Another 100k-ish versus right now 70. And it's... Oh, God. Oh, we, see the, we see the morale difference being pretty goddamn yes. huge. And the roles are not favoring the Northern no. Alliance. They are getting wiped out. Yes. It's not going to be a victory right here. Even with the fourth bonus right there, they could not stand against the Southern, ally no. Southern Allies. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Yeah. Like, I really didn't think Laurent would be such a big player, but somehow he pulled together. Let's see, do we have any weird modifiers that were missed? Is there, like, su a sudden Witch Lord going around? Nope. Nope. No Witch Lords, nothing like that. Just the pure size of them. Going 50. Oh. Over force limit, paying 60 Jeez. extra ducats a month. Okay. Well, okay, I know why they're winning right now. <laughs> they, they have three loans right now. Only three loans? Well, he has 16 corruption right now. So he's basically saying, I don't care about don't tech care. anymore. We are going to build an army with corruption. So, well, that's ver something that very much... Oh, wait, I heard this band sound. I heard this band sounds. Yeah, there we go. Mm. He can no, no, consolidation sound. So apparently didn't notice that as well. Yeah. So now when I mention oh, it, okay. consolidating... 
Wow. So no more paying nothing. Quantity as a quality of its own. <laughs> yeah, that's a great quote from Jake. Perfect. But how are we going to see how our side is looking right now? We still have a number advantage for the Northern Lions, but unfortunately still... we have a small country looking very war exhausted and very tired of this war. Yeah, poor thing. And they are, let's see, a peace offer from Istalor. My FL dropped because of corruption. Oh. Oh. What's so it, sorry. What, what does he mean with FL? Da, da, da. Okay, I, I tell you don't know either. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> FL? Feel law, feel, feel army, feel the friends, locals, <laughs> force limit. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I'm so into Hoi, I like have all of their stuff right there. Yeah, of course it's force limit, goddammit. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, we have... <laughs> Verstek, yeah, here entire force is standing still, not doing anything. Small Just country <laughs> is regrouping with their men. <sighs> We're gonna see what's going on right here. They have about 120, 50,000 men right here. But they're getting invaded from the south, from Blondie, and invaded from the west by Laurent. I see no victory in this. <laughs> it's an army bred for a single purpose. Yeah. To destroy the Northern Alliance. Cry. Oh, How about when a peace country. out small country until it's bankrupt? Well, it's very hard to bankrupt small country right now. They would survive for at least another hundred months yeah. by just this. And what? well, they can always just reduce their armor maintenance and do stuff like bankrupting small country would be close to impossible. But are we having a large engagement going on right here? No, we don't. Just a small one killing off another 10 stack of eight, uh, allies. But are we going to see a large engagement going on right now? N yes, I think we are. We're going to have another 90,000 against Laurent. But is Laurent going to react quick enough for this? Or are they going to... Yeah, they wanted to hold that siege, but that might have been their doom saying, leaving their extra troops all by alone, taking huge stack hits right now. Yeah, no, And yeah, I think, I think, think going it's going to gonna be a victory for the Northern Alliance right now. Yeah, and this might <laughs> just be what they need. Yeah. Great. Uh, second victory, I think. They won the first engagement, but now... This might just be what they're needing, to pull back, take back some troops, while Laurent begins the long... Long march long home. March back. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't too long. I was really expecting something a bit more down here south, but on the very northern provinces right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they have gone down in force limit but to 67, so... Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't seem like this war's over just yet. Uh, the current... No. Oh. This is interesting. Take Looking at the casualties. For for the blonde side, Istra Lore and everyone else... Oh, that's a lot. 439,000 losses. While if we wow. look on the Northern Alliance side, only 250. They might have lost a lot more land, but they still have lost They're a still lot less. There. Yeah. They can recover, I think. They might be able to. Yeah. They might be able to. <laughs> they are retaking the Versa capital, so... Yes. I, I'm right. interested to see how this works out. But I'm gonna ask you to hold down the fort for a while. <laughs> Where are you going? Coming back soon. Okay. I don't know what he's do going to do, but whatever. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Got something here. Nice. Uh, got it. Still a lot to go. They have rebellions here in small country. They should recover this. Still rooting for you, small people. Lucilla uh, is not doing well. What are you going to do? Losing a lot of territory here. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. 
let's just say that mm. lack of sleep and too much coffee requires you to have certain needs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> too, too much information, but yes. thank you for sharing. Oh, God, <laughs> coffee. So much coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, so how, how are we going right now? Has there been any more engagements right now? I don't think so, but they have managed to clean up Versa completely. <laughs> oh well, completely. One yeah. more province. Ah, two more provinces right there. I got the capital back. So. Blondie looking all fine and good. Buscar looking all good and fine there as well, except the entire African colony is just completely occupied in war and horribleness. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, something happened. Laurent, how are you doing, my man? How are you doing? War exhaustion going down. Something happened with a small country. Small country? Oh! Oh, peace! Yeah. Small country peaced out. Okay. They have very little money. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, most, most of the nations peaced out. It's only Versic left. Istolor declared Ooh. war against Verstek and they want to finish that war right now. Okay. Since it's a humiliation war, they can't take uh, uh, any uh, uh. land. Okay, what but happened? There we go, peace again. It, it, it ended. So the big question is what did they ask for? I don't know. But Ally Storm, I don't know. Like, sure, the war, the war score might not, not, might not have been more than 50. But if the peace agreement was more than 50, then I think that counts as a play war score. Humiliation and just war, war taxes is more than 50%. Neon TD, was that a misclick? No. Uh, no. So <laughs> it all depends on what the peace was signed. That's at least what I see. All right, well fought. That was a 75% war score so piece. piece. Wow. Then that means that's a one player war for the yes. Southern Lions against the Northerns. Sure, two of them might have pieced out a bit early, but I'm going to still count it as a play one war. Yeah. If there's any arguments, I guess, just we have, well, beyond uh, player, leader, something, something, something. <laughs> w w game rule master, he's going to have to decide on that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you got to decide on if it's going to count as the entire alliance or just against one nation. I got stabbed out and accept a peace agreement less than 50%. If you got stabbed out by that, then I don't count it as 50%. That can't be it. Nah. Then I would say it's only against Verstek. Yeah. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. It's the people getting points that matters and not yeah. actually who gets pieced out. So I guess it Get doesn't really matter. The points are the most important. Yeah, exactly. So you you don't really lose anything by losing. He doesn't get points you reductions. Don't lose by losing. It's only these guys who gain points by piecing out. So uh, so yeah, how is the world ten, right now? Ten longs it's only, for Instra Lord. It's only 12 more minutes. Wow. So I guess people are going to try to rush uh, as large as a possible army right now. At least you get some points. We have free loans from Laurent, but I think loans uh, and... Oh, look at Instalor. Yeah, yeah. They have 10. Building up tons of army units right oh, now. Oh, shit. Because I think people are just going to try to go for the highest possible force limit they can get right now. Yeah. Corrupting it up as much as possible. <laughs> getting loans. I don't care about corruption. I, I, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how much... Yeah, how, how large of an army is. Everyone is going to be able to mass up these last couple of seconds. Uh, Instalar is not in a good position. They have 10 loans. Uh, and yeah, we at least got it confirmed from Count Crystal saying that 3 points to each member of the winning alliance. Okay. So that would gonna be 3 points to Calcion, 3 points to Blondie and 3 points to Pizzicato. 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 Uh, let's see. I guess they could have received. Is this received a bug or something? Look oh, at the installer. Minus nine. What? Oh, wait, oh, I'm pressing the wrong nation. Minus nine. Oh, that's because of all these alliances. No, oh, that's the maximum minus you can have in point. <laughs> I've actually never seen that happen. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> what? Who cares about <laughs> diplo points? Yeah. Wow, that's very very harsh. I don't care. You should probably start getting <laughs> some penalties if you're a minus in. <laughs> it's just points. a number, <laughs> like everything else, like corruption. Oh my god, that's that's horrible. Blondie so 2020s. He single-handedly defeated Northern Alliance. Absolutely no help from anyone else. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, Laurent didn't fight at all in those wars. <laughs> Laurent was just something in the West, kind of dealing with three, four, yeah. five, six major battles, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> But how is small country doing right now? Two loans, they have a low force limit, there are rebel uprisings coming soon. Uh, let's see, Poor we have Verstek gathering up forces right now, right, left and center. Yes. Yes, as much as possible. Blondie, do you have an arms race coming from you as well? Or are you gonna try to, well, be a bit more careful? No arms edge just yet. Um, I think everyone could potentially arms race. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly building more troops, so I guess it was nice. just waiting a bit more. Corruption, get 10 of it from <laughs> everyone. Loan up as much as you can, just don't go bankrupt, then you're screwed. Be careful. <laughs> and remember, it's amount of men, not regiments. So it doesn't matter if you have, well, consolidate your troops right now. I would recommend consolidating as much as possible so your force limit comes lower, but the amount of men is still the same. Yeah. So amount of men, not regiments. Oh, wow. Look at Verstek. <laughs> oh, there he is filling up the entire nation. <laughs> yep. We have 10 corruption coming right there. You can only take 10 corruption before you have to, like, wait, I think, a while before you can do it. Uh, like, you can only... Yeah, it takes 12 months to recharge the base currency and can on maximum be used five times. So they're going to use it, <laughs> wait a bit more time. So I was thinking it was going to happen a bit earlier so they can use corruption more times before they do the final push of just loan the shit out of your nation. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, if you're not careful, they could go into, well, bankrupt very quickly. Yeah. If they take all the loans, build troops from everything, then they can't do anything. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> war! So, is someone actually going to declare the war store? Yes. We have PD Storm that actually declared a war against... Or? Yes, yeah, small country declared war against Laurent. But uh, as far as I can see, we have, uh, well... Where's where small country's okay. army? I don't know. Uh, what? I don't see it. I, I don't see the army. Is that... Do you have an army? No. They don't have an army. What? Piazza just declared war. But they have. No, they, they ha don't have an army. Small country has zero. No, but they had... No? Why? <gasps> wow. Oops. I guess some Kaiser truce broke and destroyed his army. Laurent truce broke and destroyed his army. Probably because they had, yeah, 19,000 right here. Probably with low maintenance, so Kaiser just went in and stack wiped it. Oh. I deleted, oh, he said he deleted rest. At least. Wow. Well. Too bad. <laughs> Kaiser is deciding to be salty. <laughs> well, after the last session, what? yeah. It went well for Kaiser. <laughs> well, it seems like at least a lot of allies are joining in on the small countryside. But, but is it going to be nation? enough? <sighs> that's hard. That's hard to say. I don't think I don't it's going to be enough. I think it's going to be enough. That's a thing. But the big question is, since that was a truce break, are people gonna, are, yeah, it's safe in this nation right now, no massive revolts or anything like that. That's minus free stability, but I think it's gonna be safe. Though, if a couple of nations left and right did some kind of coalition against them, well, Laurent could be falling very yeah. quickly. But I think most of the other nations are just gonna focus on gathering up forces. Small country now losing that war, war score, taking war score. I think it's going to be well. It depends on how long small country can hold out. It's only another yeah. five minutes before the p end of this session. Yeah, I don't think it. Yeah, so sorry for small country. Yeah. Oh, he's getting his maximum corruption and loans right now. So the question is, what are you going to do with those 5,000 gold? Are you going to build the largest mercenary stack in the world? Or are you going to try to send it away slightly? I don't think you can send yeah. troops or send money. Yeah, running a deficit while having loans. 
can't do that. So I'm guessing it's gonna some. Do you have any spare land somewhere where you can just build a bunch of mercenary troops? Mercenary mm. troops are very quickly recruited, so uh, there is a possibility. Yeah. It's well, lore, so far, I don't staying see it. safe. Building up slightly above uh, force limit right there. We have Verstek Neon TD. He's just ignoring his previous ally, building up 93 oh, in wow. force limit. But is that actually the amount of men he currently has out? That's the question. We're going to have to look at the ledger right here. With military, we have army, we have manpower. No, no, wait, wait. Total manpower. Here. And uh, 91,000 for Verstek, wow, 81,000 for Isalor, Laurent at 62, and Buslar on 62. Well, 62.6 for Laurent. So currently we have three points to Verstek, two points to Isalor, and well, yeah, uh, and 1.2 to so on. Yeah. Uh, it's just me or this looks like a deformed Scandinavia. <laughs> I guess this <laughs> kind could of. Kind of. <laughs> Or you can kind of see this is Norway, this is Sweden, yeah. but this part would have to be on the other side to be the part of Russia. The weird uh, it was edge a mix right and there, and then <laughs> this would be Finland. Then, yeah. I guess that can I can kind of see it right here. And and Africa and then down and there. And then we have <laughs> Oland in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Gotland. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's just a wipe right there. Laurent going in, crushing everyone. I guess he kind of wants two yeah, wins uh, against other players. Our Baron came for, for the rescue, but they don't have enough. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing mm -hmm. Kazion wants two victories against other players, so we will snag that three points. But if he doesn't manage to finish his war in <gasps> three minutes, then it's nothing. Sweden just a deformed part of Denmark. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh. Who has won <laughs> most wars? Sweden. <laughs> So, Sweden over Denmark. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> People are usually surprised when they hear that most likely, like, I guess you can never be one I'm sure about these facts, but I guess officially or something like that, Sweden and Denmark are the two nations that have been at war with each other most times. Oh, wow. We've just been fighting for centuries constantly against each other. <laughs> <laughs> like Florentin. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but I, yes, I guess just something that every Swedish person is born now with a hate of Denmark oh, for well, all the treason that. and several times we made peace with them. They stabbed us in the back once and God, let, let's not get into this. I'm going to talk about this for the rest of the stream then. <laughs> 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 uh, but otherwise who is winning now more players just keep boosting up their armies currently we have Isolor with 139,000 men on the field right now what I guess happened? he really started taking yeah. out all the loans right now all the you look at the, uh, at the god loan damn place. it <laughs> God damn it, come what? on, come on, let me select. What are you looking at? There. Now, yes. <laughs> uh, all the corruption, all the loans, <laughs> all the mercenaries just are been boosted up. How many up loans? Because he had we 10 have Neon TD. before? He's trying to, I guess, challenge that, but you can be a bit more brave right here. We have a war with Versic and Laurent. So, was that a Versic? Yeah, Versic declared war against Laurent right now. I guess trying Ooh. to save the little, well, poor little small country. <laughs> God, that's a. Uh, we'll see what's going on right there. But yeah, I think we have a victor in the arms race. Yeah, that's Isalor clear. Isalor is leading with 80,000 men. What just but happened? But how much is he paying per month? A lot. Uh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm always pressing <laughs> the wrong nation right there. <laughs> I think he's going to pay like 200 Jeez. extra ducats. 300, 300 extra ducats every single month. Great. And. That's it. That's Pause it. Pause right now. Actually, Count Christos <laughs> had lost <laughs> here. Look but at this. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty insane right there. <laughs> uh, that was a surprise. He well, really didn't one care about the corruption, lost price. loans and everything. Yeah. Well, it makes more sense since it's the last, very last thing. But 184,000 men 
for Isalor, 100 and well, 4,000 men for Verstek and 85,000 men for Laurent. Right. That was good. But yeah, um, in the chat right now, there should be a link to a straw poll vote on the best play of this week. What place did we have this week? Well, we mostly had the large war against the so South versus North. Uh, it, I don't know who, who would actually I would decide to win that war myself. Yeah, I don't know. Laurent did quite well, but he also kind of burned the nation a bit more. So if yeah. this would have gone out for a longer session, they would kind of burn themselves out. Yeah. Small country, while well, they were completely occupied. Poor things. They did manage to turn around the war right here by very quickly and sneakily attacking our army right here. And Johan being a bit greedy with, I want to keep this fort occupied so I'm not going to pull in right away. Yeah. He did pull those troops off their two, three more ticks, but... That was absolutely devastating. So I, I think I'd actually want to give it to the Northern Alliance the best place right there. Yeah, I think so too. Just to be able to snag back from there. But yeah, if you're voted right there, we'll see who actually gains the points for this week. Right now we have Kaisyon leading with 37 points. PD Alistone coming second with 28. A sidestep with 13. Ne well, actually, no, wait, that's not in order. Me and TD, third points with 17. Blondie with 16. Uh, Piscanto with 14 and sidestep the guy who was missing this session playing Arban with 13. Yes. So it's gonna be forced to have quite a bit of miracle if we see Alison to pass Kaiseon, but we'll have to wait and see. So right now, well, we could go through player wars at least. Yes. So there should be three points to, well, the Kaiser. It should be three points to uh, Piscanto and three points to Blonde. Yes. So let's see, do we have the scores right now? Uh, I can see four players writing their score right there. We're missing someone. But uh, as far as I can see right now, and yeah, as far as I can see right now, we have another three points for Kaiser Johan. We have, no, wait, no, 99 right there. We have three points to Neon TD. Ooh, okay. nice. And we have two points. To the Kaiser. Oh, yeah. Count Chris is writing up nicely and neatly so we can actually write, see it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So three points to Neon TD. We Perfect. have two points to Kaiser. And we have one point to Ally Storm. Storm. Very nice. So, yeah. Well played. 29 versus 42. I think Kaiser Johan got this in the bag. But, of course, we can't ignore um, the current vote. Where, well, yeah. Yep. Best, best vote of this week. We have three points to Kaiser. Two points to Blondie. And, uh, well, I guess one point split for Pizzicanto, Neon TD, and Ally Storm. Okay. Since we do equal for everyone that has the same army. And is there anything we missed right now? Most player wars, we should have added that. We have, should have added most troops. No, we haven't added most troops. Well, then we have three points to Blondie. And we have two points to Neon TD. And only one measly extra point for the Kaiser, who definitely needs those extra points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see and um, we seem to have a comment from the well from the mod creator right now thinking it was a great stream thanks for playing uh, that, thanks for us playing it tested it and that apparently has a 1.29 update coming soon ah oh, that's perfect so if you guys want to play this mod right now after watching it it's a better mod and well hope you take a look at it but I think we can invite our players right now coming they're standing here so mm. nicely Just and waiting, waiting. <laughs> yeah well you know Okay, so wait, we have a comment from Blondie right now. I guess this is his statement since he isn't here today being sick, but I'm still sorry. playing. What did he say? If the Northern Lines would have basically nuked him very quickly, maybe you could have pulled it off. That's a good point. Yeah, I didn't well. think of that. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Well, it was just more of the it's problem a, of... It's uh, a bunch of small nations with random forts. You yeah. could have been really bogged down right here. While if they would have done that, though, I would have gone straight for the capital. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, that was the thing. Is the troops were all on... It was clear they were all on my side. Introduction. Oh, crap. We were supposed to do that first. <laughs> Hi! I'm PDGR Elastorn. I was playing the small country. Oh, we, dwarf. Uh, <laughs> Occupied Poor dwarf. <laughs> um, we refuse to cede any land to Laurent, and thanks to the pause, we never <laughs> will have to. <laughs> 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 I've not lost land to a player. I've had to sell yeah. land to Laurent Fantastic. twice. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do for the AI. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'm Kaiser Johan. I'm playing the zombie, zombie land of Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you're not zombies that much. Oh, no, I am. Look at yeah. my troops. Look yeah, my he's, troops. He, the thing is, is after the Witch King leaves, the troops Ooh, stay I as zombies, so yeah. he has already cheaper troops consistently. Ah, That's refined how skeleton bike man. Afford a lot okay. more. <laughs> Look at well, the unit types. They are uh, the unit type will refined serve. skeletons, skite riders, and oh. yeah, <laughs> large cast iron cannon. Oh. Cool. Um, Otherwise, hi, I'm Neon DT. I'm playing Vertesk, still the richest nation in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with 39? Yeah, that's it? fine. <laughs> Not now, but. No, yeah. oh god, maybe, we, income is maybe we should have checked yeah, the income. Yeah, Vertesk yeah. is 94. Yeah, yeah that's oh, pretty I used good. to be up there. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you got that <laughs> occupied in Kaiser. I mean, at that point, I deleted trade fleets, everything, took loans because I was. It cost me 300 admin to up stability, and I was not giving territory <laughs> and someone more points. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we can kind of see the score that we have a first place going to our dear Kaiser. You were teamed up against twice, but you still managed to pull it out because of the score system. I like yes. it. I kind of. Yeah. Oh, at least you get a nice frame. <laughs> 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 the punching bag so punches beautiful. back. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. like you played smart, you got the points, and you had the fans with you, so you earned a lot of points from there. Mm. Uh, otherwise, we have two points to, or the second place to Ally Storm, I think. Yep. Uh, you can't you can't break the popular vote, but you can <laughs> win a Both few can. small hearts. And at home, <laughs> we have the third place, very close. Yeah, but. Oh, we have no. we have the third place going to Blonde. <laughs> Sick Blonde. Hopefully you can grab some power from this well third place victory, ish. <laughs> the quiet clap. <laughs> Blonde 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Old winners. Oh, okay. Aww. Yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Everyone is that's everyone cute. is a winner. Wait, oh, but that you. means nobody. <laughs> yeah, we have a good screenshot for this. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you like this mob? Uh, Fun to play in this smaller scale, more sp specific I really like the objectives. format. Yeah, I like the fun. format. I, I need either more time to play the mod, or they need to not have things like the Witch King. <laughs> <laughs> and War Wizards. And yeah. uh, if, if it's a little more explorable to figure out why you're being crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I also found out this session that apparently... Um, you can get infinite uh, mana points by using spells. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. you can like uh, use necromancy to drain your populace. Mm -hmm. So you, you trade one development for 100 admin, the, which nice. is a pretty good that's trade. That's <laughs> a great trade. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. The problem with that is only if your leader is trained oh. in magic yeah, yeah, can yeah, they do yeah. it. And yeah. I was just yeah. like, yeah. I can't do that shit. <laughs> I have an immortal, uh, like, yeah, I have a lord protector. Dwarf. Yeah, he's, oh, he's 110. Yeah, yeah he's 13. 113. He's the Lord Protector of the small people. <laughs> but, uh, like, oh, that was the you only... you become on, like, dict dictatorship? At that point, yes. you just sort of have to for the morale yeah. bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get the same thing. Everything for the morale. Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, the only reason we sort of sat there is because I was trying to rush Tech 15 as fast as humanly possible. Yeah. I got it, and then we turned it around, but I didn't but have enough admin points to hold it. Yeah, but having a 666 six, six constantly for the past, yeah. how long? Yeah. That could have been yeah. so beneficial. Who needs democracy, really? Exactly. Kato says he had fun. <laughs> but I was thinking the trade node. No, I, I thought it was going to be a lot crazy. more consistent, yeah. like a lot more fighting over it. There was fighting, like, just not have military. There, there was, there yes. was a f about half an hour where I had control over it, and then all of a sudden, so good. <laughs> Why did all of my trade money go away? And then I'm just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> quietly, just like, I don't know. You built a world port, shit. I did, and I built another world port. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the problem with that conflict is, it just wastes yeah. our money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were com we were having a sort of game wide trade war, and it just drained both of our coffers. So we we decided to split it because yes. no one else could take it. I was thinking of uh, privateering that node, um, <laughs> but I mean, since we're in constant wars, I yeah. would have just lost my fleet. Yeah. yeah. Um, kind of. But yeah, how, how do you like Blondie's build-up? Yeah. The last <laughs> second, just filling the nation. I mean, it's very impressive. <laughs> yeah. I, I would have won if I had more available mercenaries. Yeah. I actually run out of mercenaries. I even could yeah. recruit. Did Did you pick oh, the, uh, the? I did. Yes. Yes. If I wasn't army. at war, I couldn't condottieri somebody up to third place, <laughs> 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 which I was planning to do. But yeah, looking at this, he's paying two, three hundred extra ducats a month. Yes, <laughs> he's saying that. So just going on like two, three more months, he might go bankrupt. Yeah. Any last final closing comment? 
Mm-hmm. War mage just for the win. I survived. That's enough. That's like enough. the halflings Balls in their right really hand. have a hard time. Don't yeah. point that out. I don't want to relive that. <laughs> and this fork <laughs> never falling. I will burn that fork to the ground one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this new kind of format of mini dev clashes. Not really dev clash, but clashes in different mods, smaller sessions, small amount of players. Hopefully you know these guys a bit more better now. And, uh, well, please tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, and we'll try to reform it until next time. Hope you like me. This is Daniel. Valeska. And, uh, well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.